The Cravey CNC is sponsored by DesignSpark. Check out the full project at the link in the video description. With the CNC seemingly working as it should, and having successfully completed a few pen sketches, I installed the spindle and proceeded to mail my first workpiece. It started out well enough with the CNC successfully milling out the logo, but then it failed during the contour operation. I thought it was my weak clamping job, so I tried again with the workpiece, firmly secured this time. But it failed again and again. The CNC seemed to be losing steps and, at some point during the contour operation, it moves away from the desired path, causing the end mill to rapidly dig into the wood. I thought it might be power related so I tried increasing the current to the steppers, but it failed again and again. I wasn't sure what was going on so I decided to test the A and B stepper motors individually. To do that, I prepared a G-code file that moves the carriage diagonally back and forth. I did this for both the left and the right motors and I noticed that the right motor was severely skipping steps. For some unknown reason, I convinced myself that the problem was signal related and I tried everything I could think of to fix the problem. I busted out my logic analyzer, I swapped out stepper drivers, I even ripped the SKR 1.4 turbo controller that was on one of my printers and essentially wired the CNC from scratch. But nothing worked. It was only after I exhausted all my dumb ideas and sat down to look at the problem objectively that I noticed that the motor in question had a loose pulley. I must have forgotten to tighten the set screws when I was installing the belt. I am really ashamed of this because I wasted three days trying to solve a signal problem that didn't exist. After tightening the pulley on both motors, I reinstalled my original ESP32 board and ran the diagonal G codes again and the motors did not skip a bit.